everybody, Gamer Penny here, bringing you another episode of our Lord of the Rings Online Let's Play. And we are back with Baird Beam and Bingo. So we're ready to take on the next Bingo Boffin quest. So let's go ahead and talk to I him. I've been studying my map, and I know where I want to go next. I've been looking at the map that started my grand adventure, and I know where I want to go next, Baird Beam. If I am reading this correctly, we should be just about there. Now, do you see this area here among the trees to the east and a little north? The author of this map has made a little drawing of three figures here in this glade. Look at their large smiles. I want to find this glade of smiling figures, my friend. It should be to the east of our location and a little north, but there may be some impassable rock faces in our way. We may need to return to the road before we can strike northeast to the glade. Okay. Let's get to the road. Find the glade of the three smiling figures. I think that's the the trolls. <laughs> I mean, it has to be the trolls. What else would it be? Are we near the road? The road's actually this way. Funny enough. Oh my goodness. Um... Okay, I'm gonna... See what happens if we just go straight this way. <laughs> New deeds. Ruins of the Trollshaws. This is the impassable rock thing. Ah. Let me through. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so now I think we go up here and we should be okay. No more rock faces. Although, this looks like a dead end. Alright. I'll take Bingo's advice and find the road and then get up there. Although, we could go this way maybe. <laughs> I didn't want to go back to the road. I'm determined. Huh. We're starting to go... Like a little bit out of the way. Get up through here. Should be. Nope, further up. Was that a troll? Was a troll. There's live trolls down there, bingo. Oops. Okay. Maybe it's right around this bend. We're in there. It looks like... Oh my goodness. Ow! Broke our ankle. Falling injury for six seconds. This feels right. Unless it's like up in there. I don't think so. I think it's just this way. Here they are. Here they are. Three smiling faces. Three large stone figures stand in the glade. Oh no! Do you see that? Look at those mighty stones! Trolls! We are fortunate indeed that they are mere statues and not the real thing. Mingo's smile fades as he peers to the northwest between two of the figures, and he frowns deeply. Oh no, Bear Beam, a helpless creature has been caught in a trap. Can you help the poor thing? Such cruelty, it pains me to see it. Oh, free a lynx? Yeah, I'll help him. Oh, a snowy lynx? I has that? Suddenly bounds away. Ah, oh, 
I am glad the Lynx is free. I, I hope he recovers from his injuries. Well, that was a good deed, my friend, the poor thing. I understand the need to catch animals for food, of course, but the construction of that trap seemed none unnecessarily cruel to me. I'm glad that Lynx is free, and I hope no permanent damage has done was done to the creature. Let's travel to the southeast, and we can decide where next to go when we have returned to the road. Okay, I hope- I hope this goes into your book as something... Cool. Ba ba ba. We got a thousand marks from uh, our Hobbit gifts, by the way, for logging in today. <laughs> I was very happy with that. So I think the marks are going to be really useful for us uh, getting some stuff. Especially for those three quests. Um, these three. In some of those things. I might have to do a couple more um, skirmishes to get some more. There's also cosmetics you can get from them, so looking at that too. Oh, our Link's friend. <laughs> He's following us. I do not mean to worry you, but we are being followed. <laughs> uh, no, do not make any sudden movements. It is that lynx. It has been following us for a short while now, and it is staring at us from across the road. Can you... Do you think you can wave at it to shoo it away? Hello. Lynx stares at you with large eyes and does not move. <laughs> Maybe Willem Whisker is hungry. Oh god, what? he named him. He needed a name, didn't he? <laughs> that did not work, Beardbeam. He is still staring at us. Hmm. Do you think that Willem Whisker is hungry? Bingo turns a bright shade of red at your quizzical expression. Becomes suddenly sheepish. What? He needed a name, didn't he? He looks like a Willem Whisker to me. Just look at his face. Anyway, I think he must be hungry. See if you can get some suitable venison from the Glenhines or Glenbucks in these woods. I'm sure Willem will appreciate it. Alright, we deer, deer hunting now. Where's my, uh... You know what? I have my own lynx friend. Arpo. You need to come out and help us. I don't need this, though. Alright, got one. Don't need wolves. Need more deer. Is it like... Oh, it's all over the place. Okay. Here's one. Another buck. Alright. And we'll get this gun buck. Alright. Come on, Arpo. I'm gonna go introduce you to Willem Whiskers. Get on our horse. Get there a little quicker. Hey, Willem. You want some uh, venison? The lynx happily devours the venison and then stares up at you enigm enigmatically. He does look a little like a Willem Whisker, now that you think about it. <laughs> I have been thinking it over, and I think we should allow Willem to tag along with us. I knew it! He loved the venison. Good work, Bear Beam. I've been thinking over and I think we should allow him to tag along with us for as long as he wants. He's a good boy, I dare say, and it will be good to have another companion on this journey. No offense intended to you, of course, but you are not as fuzzy as Will and Whisker, are you? This way, WW, you are welcome to journey with us for as long as you wish. We go now to the next stop on the map, the entrance to Rivendell, the Hidden Valley. Alright, sympathetic hobbit. <laughs> oh boy. Whoever wrote these quests, I, this was a good, a good addition to the game. A very cute and funny quest. Oh. 
We gotta go all the way over here now. I don't know how many of you um, are playing it, but I bought Cyberpunk. <laughs> I had it pre-ordered, and I know it's getting a lot of like mixed, mixed reviews and some really like just stupid controversy over it. Uh, but I'm enjoying it. I'm having a lot of fun with it actually. It's just it, it tend it. It tends to bring out like the worst in people's opinions. Like they'll say stuff and I'll just be like, what what are you talking about? I don't quite understand. I guess I don't quite understand uh game reviews anymore. <laughs> I guess you you can't please people with video games. They're not looking at what the game does right. They're looking at what the game doesn't have that they were hoping or that they wanted and it's just well then you're ignoring what the game is and just saying what the game could have been and I, that's not really a review like i could review lord of the rings and say bad bad movie because they didn't just take the eagles in a mordor like it, it just it's kind of odd to me, like, how, how some of these reviews are coming out. But I, I'm having a lot of fun with Cyberpunk. I think it's a, it's a decent game. Lots of bugs, which, fair enough to say. But um, once they smooth out those bugs, I think it will be a lot of fun. Like, it's... I mean, it's like a Fallout game or a Skyrim game. Like, it's just open world questing and just good time. All around good time. And I, <laughs> I got to a, a part in the game where I was like, okay, I'm going to make a morally questionable judgment here. And I made it. And then it's been bothering me for days. <laughs> like, where I'm like, man, I feel bad that I made that. And what sucked though is the episode actually won't air because um, I, the recording got, got all wonky. So I had to reload a save and I didn't go back to that quest and redo the same way. So you guys won't see what I did. But I, I still was like... I don't know. I, I made the decision. The NPC reacted to my decision. And then I walked away like, I don't feel good. <laughs> like, I don't feel, I don't feel good. And it's been a while since a, a game or, in this case, like, this, the situation and the voice acting and the writing put me into a position where I was like, oh god. I, I don't feel good about my decision. <laughs> and I don't think there was a good outcome to it. And so, I, I don't know. I'm just, like, connecting to the game on a... On a level where it's like it's starting to affect, like I I feel I feel bad for the NPC, even though it's just a go, it's just a game, but man, and I like it when games do that, where I can connect to the story enough where it's where it's uh it makes me think about moral stuff. That's that's one of the so one of my favorite games ever is Witcher Three. Um, and I know it's made by the same people and they have a tendency to do this where out of nowhere They just insert a quest or a moral um, Predicament that they'll put you in and it's like I don't I don't know how to feel like I, I should hate this person and Then you do something like yeah, you hate him and then it's like oh god I feel bad for him. Should I be feeling bad for him? <laughs> like, it's, it's just awesome uh, where it makes you think like morally and philosophically like that. What so. purpose brings your party to the Hidden Valley? Are you on friendly terms with the one who follows you? He does seem to be well behaved for the moment, but I wonder if what if that will change when he gets hungry. The sentinel laughs, a musical sound. The lynx? No, I do not speak of the lynx, Baird Beam. I speak of the hungry looking hobbit there. <laughs> really? This elf believes I <laughs> am a danger to the peace of Rivendell? Uh <laughs> Danger of the Peace of Rivendell 
than our new friend WW. Bingo's face is full of outrage, but he cannot maintain the mask for long, and soon he is his usual jovial self. These are perceptive elves, Baird Beam. Will and Whisker will cause no trouble for them, but if there are any dinners to be had within Rivendell, I will menace them most effectively. Right? I am excited to explore, but right now my stomach is rumbling. The elves must surely have a dining hall or a storehouse for their meals. I'm going to take WW and find a bite for us to eat. You should introduce yourself to the top elf and tell him that we have come for a short visit. I've heard nothing of the hospitali hospitality of elves, but it must be, but it must not be for its lack. Wow, but it must not be for its lack. He will not turn us away, surely. So we're going to talk to Elrond? All right. Elrond's going to be like, yeah, I know you. Why did you bring a hobbit here? <laughs> Now, the Bingo Boffin vendor has unlocked here, so we're going to want to check him out as well when we get down there. I always love running into Rivendell. I know I say it every time we come here, but just the view. It's very beautiful. Alright, let's go find Elrond. Up in his study, up there. Introduce him to Bingo. Aron's probably like, why are all these hobbits coming to <laughs> Rivendell? What, um, where do you think the rest of the elves of Rivendell live? Is there, I mean, there's not many buildings here. Do they like, have a room somewhere or? A curious question. Oh, I didn't pay attention to where the Next bingo, um, did we pass a bingo? Maybe he's at the stable master. A bingo merchant where I can trade in my badges. Dark days are coming. More guests. This is what happens when you allow one hobbit into your home, Baird Beam. More arrive soon after, and more after that. I will not turn this bingo away as long as he remains a polite and respectable house guest. You should show him to Bilbo Baggins in the Hall of Fire. They must have a great deal in common, despite my jest. Hobbits remain an unusual sight in Imladris. Oh. I... I will come back. That's our main quest. I forgot. <laughs> I was like, what? What quest do you have for us? <laughs> Find Bilbo Baggins in the Hall of Fire. Bonk. Hall of Fire is over here. It's Bilbo Baggins, the famed adventurer from up Hobbiton Way. <laughs> I've been filling him in with tidings of home, and he has been telling me about his stay with the elves of Rivendell. Bingo looks at you conspiratorially and quickly whispers, He seems a right ordinary fellow to me, not mad at all, before proceeding in a normal tone of voice. 
Bilbo has had the capital idea of drawing me a map so I can best explore Rivendell and not miss anything. What fun! A lovely day, isn't it? It is always a pleasure to see a hobbit outside the Shire, Baird Beam. Bingo seems to be quite an interesting fellow, and I am glad to see him testing his limits. I have drawn a quick map of some notable sites here in Rivendell. Find each of these locations, and you will have seen some of the most notable locations in this beautiful valley. If I had more time, I could make a much prettier map, but I made this one with some haste. Go now, before Bingo loses his taste for exploration and adventure. It is a fear of mine for all hobbits, that the wanderlust will depart as quickly as it arrived. Okay. Uh, what quest do you have? Good day. Might I have a word with you? Oh, Goblin Town. Nope, don't need it. Alrighty. We need to go find some places here. Market of Rivendell. Oh. <laughs> A hospitable home. They're mostly like all around there. That's the horse we got, by the way, right there. It looks pretty sick, actually. Uh, we need to find the Falls of Imladris. Which are down this way. fishing here. The roar of the falls is overpowering, but the view remains... I didn't read what it said. I want to see this person. Do they have a hat on, or are they... Oh, they're just bald. Cool. Okay. And the rest should be up here, except the spire of meeting. Right in the middle. Fire serves as a popular meeting spot for the folk of Rivendell. Cannot believe such a beautiful place has been here hidden for so long. We'll find, um... The market. And I also want to see if we can find the Bingo Boffin vendor maybe over by the stable. Many fine goods are for sale at the market of Rivendell. Bingo. What delights the elves must fashion in this lovely valley? I'll be right back, Bingo. I'm gonna... Head over here. Um, do you have the... Is not here. Well, where is he? Oh, he is here. Right here. Uh, barter oh, items. I have many fine items on offer. Oh, we need our hat rack back. Tome of the Brown Squirrel. We're definitely gonna get that one. Oh. A messy writing table. Small yard. See if we can have Theodore show up in our yard. Um, I would like this messy writing table. Lonelands, huh? Messy writing table. Let's get Theodore. And a small map of the Lonelands. Okay. All right, let's continue on. We probably f almost filled up our... Yep. I know there's a bank up here. Right? No, just auction. We did this last time. There is no bank up here. <laughs> um, you are... This is the market. We want to go... To the lake. Okay, so let's go around over here. Actually, I have to go up there, I think.
Yes, to the lake here. The lake of Hidhunian is peaceful and calm. Cool. sit and buy it and then find the haven of Orladian that down oh it's over here okay haven of Orladian no idea what the haven is is it the Auction house or whatnot, or here, whatever it is. There's really no bank up here. No. Just auction houses. And we can't get to the haven. Hmm. Um. What is the haven? Do I even know what I'm looking for? Probably not. back this way. Oh, that? Maybe? How do you get there? Let's see. Okay, up here. The Haven of Orladian is quiet and peaceful. Lovely place must be used for quiet reflection. Is this where Aragorn and um, and uh, Arwen like hung out and pronounced their love for each other and whatnot? Did we use the tome of our squirrel? I don't know. Do we do we have a squirrel tome somewhere? We did buy it, right? Um Where would it be? Right here. No, did we not get the squirrel one? Tome of the brown squirrel. Here. Got a squirrel friend now. Amazing. Okay, so we've got a rabbit, a sheep, and a squirrel. Alright, now we gotta find Imdolin on the road north of Rivendell, and I think they are just straight up the road towards the Misty Mountains. through. It's straight up, right? Yeah.
find Imdolin. He's straight back here. The air of Imdolin high above Rivendell is crisp and clear. Can go up here? No. Unless he's up here. Return the map to Bingo in the Hall of Fire. Is that Arwen? Hey! I have but lately returned to Rivendell, my father's house. Arwen. Hey, girl. Okay. Go back to the Hall of Fire. This looks greener right now. I don't know why this path looks super green. Ow. Hurt our ankle again. Let's go. Back to the homely, last homely house. There. And this quest, just run all around Rivendell. It's good to see other players out, too. I know I say that whenever we see another player, but <laughs> it's still true. I like seeing, um, like this place used to have tons of people running around, so it's kind of, kind of sad when you don't see a whole bunch of people in the game anymore. You know, there's tons of people or tons of places for people to be now in the game is the other thing all right bingo bringing your map back there is something very familiar about this map it was great fun, my friend, and at each stop I was amazed anew at the sheer beauty of Rivendell. I hope we did not prove a nuisance to the elves that live here, for I felt myself gawking at several points and had to restrain my tongue from wagging. Thank you again for holding on to the map, for I was able to keep my eyes up on the scenery instead of down on the paper. It's quite a well-drawn map, now that I look more closely at it. Bingo stops talking and takes the map from you. Wait a moment, Bairdbeam. There is something most distinctive about this map. See how the artist has used these lines here to form the shape of the mountains? Well, that is most familiar to me, for the mountains on my own map are drawn in the very same fashion. Remember that map, right? It is a map that started my own adventure so long ago now. Can it be that we have found the very hobbit who drew the map I found in that cookbook? Bilbo. You leave the map behind. Day, isn't it? Ah, do you mean to tell me that Bingo found my map of Eriador? I'm delighted to hear it, Beam. Before I left the Shire for good, I spent some time visiting my old haunts and fixing the dear place in my memory. I can still see many of my favorite sunny paths and peaceful benches, even now. But one thing brought a sadness to my heart, and it was the belief that none of the dear hobbits I was leaving behind would ever experience the same joys I had in seeing the world. Oh, I knew Frodo would be alright. He'd always been an adventurous boy, but he was unusual in that regard. I conceived of a plan, Barry Beam. I would draw a map of the wider world, and I would leave it in a cookbook in the library at Tuckboro. Perhaps it would be found by an inquisitive hobbit, one who needed only the slightest of pushes to embark on a great adventure. And look, I was right. Gandalf would be so proud of my inventiveness, Baird Beam. I do hope, for Bingo's sake, that there will be no dragons involved, as there were for me. Then I would feel most responsible, but for now it seems to me a lark and a joy. I have so many questions about his adventures and his writing both. 
I can hardly believe it, Baird Beam. Bildo, B Bildo, Bilbo Baggins, the great author and adventurer, is the one responsible for getting me started on this grand journey of mine. I will have so many things to ask him about his adventures and his writing both. Right. I we almost have caught up. I wonder what Bilbo would think of my account so far. Baird Beam, he is both an author and an adventurer, and I would be very interested to hear any feedback he might have to offer. Can you give him my manuscript so far and ask if he will read through it? I am too shy to ask him myself, but if you ask me, perhaps he would be willing to take the time to read it. Destructive critic, the open-minded. <laughs> How do you do? Ah, Bingo spoke to me of the account he is writing of his journey. This must be it. I would be pleased to read it and give him my thoughts. Give me a few moments to look over the manuscript. It should not be too long, but I will need some time to read it carefully. I will give it my undivided attention. We're gonna wait two minutes. Jeez Louise, man. Two whole minutes? Go up here and get a haircut. Greetings to you. Hey. Going on. Hail, friend, and well met. We're on twenty Nineteen actually looks really good. Not so much that one. Twenty-one. I actually like nineteen better, I think. Um I changed the color. Maybe it's getting a little grayer. <laughs> a little whiter. There we go. My changes. Hey, he's gotten a little more gray in his outings. <laughs> Great. Okay, 18 more seconds. Bum -ba -dum -bum -bum. Hurry up, Bilbo! Hobby Master. Actually, can I sell some stuff to you while we wait? How may I be of service to you? I know the time is up, I'm just, now that we're here, we're clearing some stuff out of the, out of the old pack here, huh? Okay. Alright, Bilbo, what'd you think? Oh, good day. I finished reading Bingo's manuscript, Baird Beam, and I made a few notes. I very much enjoyed reading about the Shire again. I confess that I do miss the peace and quiet of my home, and Bingo's writing has reminded me of it in fine fashion, methodical and calm. I also enjoyed his account of the people he has met along the way, Tom Bombadil, the treasure seeker seekers in the Forsaken Inn, and also his Lynx friend, Willem Whisker. Bingo is fortunate he has faced little adversity to this point, and I hope his journey remains danger-free as it progresses. My own adventure was full of trolls and goblins and dragons, as well as obstinate dwarves and elves alike. Tell Bingo I enjoyed reading his account very much, Bear Beam, and we'll look forward to the rest when his journey is done. Can't, Bilbo go. didn't like it. Oh no, we have to do something! But he didn't say that. Well... What did the esteemed Bilbo think of my account to this point? You tell Bingo what Bilbo had to say about the writing, but the more you speak, the more disappointed Bingo becomes. He liked the peace and quiet of the Shire. I am writing an adventure story, Baird Beam. Calm? That is the last thing I want my account to be. He hoped that the rest of my journey would be danger-free. What a disaster. We have to do something. My journey has not been exciting enough, and I have not been including enough descriptions. 
Find dangerous creatures in the High Moor or Giant Valley and defeat them, making note of how exciting you find the battles, and return to the Fort of Brunian and, and take some better notes of his appearance. I, I was so distracted thinking about WW that I wrote only a cursory piece about it. I need some help fleshing out that description, Baird Beam. <laughs> okay. Well, we can do that. Um... Go to the Brunian. And do some dangerous creatures in High Moor or Giant Valley. Where the heck is High Moor? Oh, just all over here. Okay. Okay. Alright, well, what I think we're going to do is we're probably going to end the episode here and we'll continue on with the Bingo Boffin quest in the next episode because we're almost at, this is level 40, we're almost caught up with them. So it should only take like one more episode to get caught up. So guys, I want to thank you so much for all of your support on this series. If you do want to see more of the Lord of the Rings online Let's Play, make sure to leave a like or subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. All right, bye-bye, everyone.